Hannah B. from Facebook wants to know, she plans on attending Oneonta for human biology and pre-physician's assistant studies. She wants to know what type of work is done in each class, and do the students in the pre-physician's assistant program have any time in the hospital working, shadowing doctors, or seeing patients, or anything like that? Okay, that's, that's a common question. Um, the courses are, if you major in biology, there's some core courses, bio, biology one, two, uh, general biology. Bio three is a cell biology course. There's organic chemistry with a lab. Um, as far as the, the courses that most students really want to take is anatomy and physiology. Mm -hmm. And in that course, we do uh, pretty heavy uh, laboratory exercises. We have virtual anatomy table. We have cat dissections, a lot of really good models. And so it's a, a real active learning experience. Um, most of the students who come out of there do really well in graduate school. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the other courses, they're pretty standard core courses for the physician's assistant. Um, as far as the internships and work experience, at the moment, that's largely up to the students to find. We help them, but we're, we're making progress there. We hope to have more opportunities where students who are here working on their degrees, we can help um, have enter them into these internship programs. So we do have quite a few work at the local hospitals. We have Bassett Healthcare System, so there's three hospitals within a 24-mile radius, plus some uh, clinics and uh, nursing homes. So the students do find uh, work there. So we're going to assist them more in the future. Um, other than that, um, it's pretty much the standard uh, biology education. One thing she might want to know is the human biology program is going to re be replaced with a, a biomedical sciences program. And so the students will have more opportunities to take electives, greater choice, in areas that will actually gear more towards the health sciences. So instead of taking courses in botany and evolution and ecology, they'll be able to take courses more in human physiology, endocrinology, cell molecular biology. So um, that's one option. So. And when is that change of the major taking place? We hope it's going to be in the fall of 2015. Um, okay. If not, soon thereafter, but she'll be here early enough she can decide to switch over any time. Mm -hmm. So the, the first year is going to be the same regardless. So, okay. Well, thank you for speaking with us, Dr. Okay. Shillow. Yeah.